Hi there, I'm Black Bright and I've, I'm a vlogger, um, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm just going to do a very, very quick video before I run off to work. And it's because I saw an image of a black boy who had been stabbed over the weekend. And I thought to myself, every day recently, we have been seeing and hearing about stabbings, stabbing, stabbings. And every now and then we see a selective picture of, of, of a black youth on our screens or on the newspaper. And I was wondering, is this a covert way of subliminal um, programming? I know that's a play on words, but, and it's a paradox, but I believe it can work because if you keep repeating the same thing over and over again to the unsuspecting mind, that might change the way that that boy is thinking. Whereas he might never have thought about stabbing, all of a sudden, hearing it all the time, he might think, oh, I might be a victim of stabbing. Oh, it's easy to get a knife. I can get a knife. It's a quick way to defend myself. I've got to get a knife. Constant, constant repetition. Now, James Vickers, James Vickery in 1957, did this um, test or he was played a stunt with a tachytostomy machine. Sounds like that anyway. And what he did, he flashed images um, of popcorn and Coke on a TV screen, on a movie screen, so that it would, hoping it would entice the audience to buy popcorn and Coke. And he reckoned that it increased 18.6% in sales. Anyway, it turned out to be a hoax in 1962. But some people say that there is uh, there is some merit to that, to the, to the mind being conditioned in that way. Now, the technical term for that is uh, it's below the threshold of conscious awareness and cannot be differentiated from alternative stimulus. It's like when you go into a shop, you go in for one thing, you come out with God knows what. And you're thinking, why did I? I went in there for one thing. Why have I come out with all of this? It's mind control, mind programming. You, It's something your mind just takes over. It sees things. All of a sudden you're thinking, oh, yeah, I think I need that. Oh, yeah, that's there. And everything is laid out conveniently and strategically. It's the same thing with this constant repetition. And I have a funny feeling that sub subliminal programming or messaging is is the reason why all of a sudden we're getting an increase in knife crime and young boys being stabbed. Because to me, it just makes sense. You might think I'm crazy. You know, I welcome your views. You do you think I have it? You know, do you think what I'm saying has any merit? I'm interested to know. Gotta go. Bye.